zero hour there. mission. Yeah. So this is the last step for Outbreak Prime. If you want to know how to get to here, check out my other two videos about where all the node locations are at and where to find the strikes. Basically, you gotta go through a timed event, run through all these things, follow my path, and you'll be set. Ideally, you might even do it better than me. Who knows? I'm not, I'm not perfect. Nobody is. The game of the game is speed. Kill yes. everything. Yeah. Guns, I would suggest you want to have your team breaking up elements or something like hard light. Uh, so that way you can take down all the different shields with a bunch of different energy types. And they do hurt a lot. I want On clearing out those ads, thanks to Grim Hunter and Bond. For Man, this is gonna take some time. This. I'm gonna go do some Gambit Prime. Oh, sorry. So I don't there's gonna be lots of long range enemies. You can see over there, there's all these snipers. So you got some of your teams with a scout rifle or something long range, that will help a lot. Hey, you got Arc down here. A nice little hiding area, by the way, for guys. Oh. Guardian down. Oh. I'm gonna put that heavy sink in the back. Ah, crap. I got most of the shanks that I was going for. I'm gonna go fast, 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 fast. Arbalist might be a good one for this as well, for those of you that like Arbalist. I am using the Outbreak Perfected. It is pretty nifty. Oh my goodness, we need, I need some help with the Arc Shields. I know, I know. Hammer second. Got one left. There you go. There, you have to kill everything on every area, by the way, everyone. So, I kill everything. Move on. Run down here. It's down on the right side of that area. Just follow the path. Down the trucking, and then you come to here. This is probably where the first huge area you run into. The uh, I mean, lots of servitors with all their boys. Anyone's got, I guess I asked why this guy gets closer to the first time to work. Yeah, get those. Oh boy, you didn't get the couple of the chains of solar shields. <laughs> Use them. If you got supers that can bring stuff back, I suggest using the horse and I'm not using the uh, uh, Furiosas because the shield does not do a whole lot to help your teammates. You got a bunch of shanks and some servers up in the bottom. Classic shielding each other thing. Oh, and now they're infinitely sh Yep, this is, this is ridiculous. That'll work. Really? So it's just shielding each other like that? I 
bad here. It's just one of the weird things. Alright. So you need to take the path right behind that walker. Alright, we got just under five minutes to try and get through all of this part for the ideal 10 minute marker. We got a captain that you guys will all both ran past that I need help with because I'm by well, all right. I'm just by myself. You guys skipped a lot of ads. I want to go check out the ones up here. Oh, that guy just disappeared, so I don't know. That was weird. Got to kill everything, viewers. Everything. Guns, I always suggest using stuff that got things like Rampage on them or some kind of increasing damage effect from just hit, like just the shot. Something that increases it will help. Boost is pretty nifty. Anything with Rampage. Outlaw, it's a great one to have just for faster reloads. Whatever will make you kill the fastest. Don't drop down there. That's a trap. I fell for it every once in a while. I'd also suggest using something to help boost your jump, like Lion, Rampart, Stompies. Um, not 100% sure if Warlock has anything. Come down here. Go under the plane. There's a path under it. Save yourself some time from wandering around under the plane. Right through these vents, lots of hidden vents that you gotta go through. Back behind this bookcase. All right, right here, and you can just drop straight down. And I missed it. <laughs> I didn't hit it in time. It's okay. I'll just respawn right above it and go for it. Very first one right here. You drop straight down and keep on following the trail. Ah. Now you get to the fun, actual jumping puzzle part. I got you. Thankfully, it's not a super hard one like. Uh, Thinking King was a hoot because they're getting blasted off a lot of times, so it's pretty funny to do with your friends. This is not quite as annoying or frustrating as that, though. So you go on this big old platform, look down again, you see those little spikes, and go for it. Try to hug that wall if you can. So I mean, something with jump boost is nifty because then you get a couple shots at these little platforms. Smooth is steady, slow and steady, sl uh, smooth is fast. Or slow, smooth, smooth is faster. That's what it is. I short that deactivate button. So then you're up here, jump straight up to these other platforms. Uh, oh, shoot, went too far. Right here, on top of those boxes. Straight up and to the right. You're on to the I hate section. this already. Jump up these platforms. Use them like a ladder to hop up the walls. The you want to go for the second set of those holes in the wall. Down. Uh, 
All right, that's that section. This one. All right, so you got, I like this one better than Whisper. So you got these fans. Use the red troughs as your, uh, to keep you safe from the fans cutting you apart. Drop down, they just go clockwise. These are, let's follow those directions. I think it is clockwise. I'm pretty sure that's what it has to be. I don't think it can go the other way. So you just keep jumping around, falling down between each fan, and eventually, Get to where you can get to this platform right here, and that's that part. There's a lot of sections of this jump puzzle. All right, when the first person has gone across, I'm still stuck on the, the platforms. Will come up because it fucking fell off. <clears throat> oh, he kind of saved me. But when someone gets across, they can activate something. And you need to get those platforms to make your life easier. So if you're playing with someone who's good at jumping, maybe let them go across first. And then they can activate those platforms up to save your life. Make your life a little easier. Otherwise, you can just run around the edge and jump. Alright, you're in this command center. Go down to the right. Drop down. It's a long drop, so brace yourself. Look for the next vent. There it is. All the way down. The reason I'm explaining all this is there's not really many videos at this point in time out. So I'm trying to make it a little easier by giving more direction. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm gonna get killed by the robot. Oh, I got, got good. Is that robot thing you guys saw coming at me? And that will happen. I'll get you trapped. And so there's three, are there three or is there four? Is there three or four levers? There's four levers you gotta deactivate. On the left? Okay. So then you, once you deactivate them, you're, the robot becomes a lot easier to avoid. Then you, that's how you get through this part. You want to basically open up all these levers, try to make it where you survive the robot. And uh, then you get out and you get to the next part. Ideally, you'd be at the boss fight already, but the point of this is at least show you how to get through the jump puzzle and to the boss. Uh, it's not easy to do the boss part. And so if I get a good run and everything goes really well, I'll put that up at some point. Oh, I don't know if I get shot by that, but for now, is just the point to show you all how this works. <coughs> and you know I've done it right all the way through at least once, because they got outbreak. No, I haven't made it all the way through there yet. Y'all know I've done it right at least once, and I do have the outbreak. Okay, I keep trying to get to that a whole time, and that robot's just hunting me. Right, here it comes again. Oh, thank you. So you got the robot to turn around with the levers and everything. Oh, is it coming straight towards you? Am I running at it now? Okay. So yeah, it's kind of like Pac-Man, where the robot's Pac-Man and you are the berry that's trying to eat. You're trying to not get eaten. Hit the levers, that's what activates the door. Oh! -ho. Dude. Uh, I don't know, but it hasn't opened yet. I'm with you. I don't think we're gonna have enough time for the boss. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough time for the boss. It's okay. Alright, now you ride these elevators up. And let them keep on going up.
Take the big slide down carefully, hit the stuff on the side, it will kill you at this speed. Then, then go back to the stairway, and then before you get to the stairs, take an immediate right through the vent. There's a symbol, a cryptarch, you punch that, it's opposite of that big little vault looking thing. Yo, we better kill boss real fast. We gotta kill everything really fast this time. I think it's because the lever thing. I think you guys got stuck on that little too much. Well, I mean, we weren't that. But you can always be faster. Yeah. And you, sh you should be using your Nova Bomb constantly, if possible. No, I mean, uh, in general, not this whole thing. Oh, it's gone, by the way. Oh, There's heavy there and I need it. Oh, okay, I'm missing. Oh, I have yeah, no more. Oh. <laughs> My thermite didn't go out either. Help with those. Do we have anyone running arc or anything? Uh, uh, we need to, before we even start the next one, to make sure we got arc because that's what's killing us all the time. Is like we can't take care of these arc shields. All right, I'll find something. I mean, I can also find my nation and beast tank and use that. I just put on my five days. Alright, left chip tank has got its head open. Right sh uh, right tank? Uh, left. Okay, right tank is extremely low. Right tank is really low. Support the boss, anyways. Never give up. We have given up from the time we went and got on our operates because we got literally on the zeros when we finished it. Not necessarily. Ah. Uh, oh well. We'll try again. Oh, my ear hurts.